Also, Kingdom Hall, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I just had a question. I was wondering if someone could help me with it. Okay. Um, do you have time? Um, yeah, I have a few minutes. Great. Well, um, I was kind of surprised by something I heard on the the website. They have this okay. thing that's like a TV show, kind of like the broadcast. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever watch that? Yes. Oh, okay. And they were talking um, against um, the idea of using quotations and doing what's called a misquote. It's where you leave out things to give a different impression of what the quote actually says. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I can help you with this question. Oh, did you? Uh, well, this was a new one. Do you know? Do you know what a misquote is? It's where you just leave out part of it to make it seem like it's kind of saying the opposite of what it really said in the original source. Like in the, okay. you know, have you ever heard of that? Um, no. <laughs> oh, okay. He was talking about how the, their organization is so accurate and is really against doing that. But um, actually, they've done a very famous one in a book that they still have on the website. It's called The Reasoning Book. Oh, yeah, um, The Reasoning Book, yeah? Yeah, under um, Cross. Um, they quote from this book called the Imperial Bible Dictionary, um, which basically says that um, the stake was the main part, but that the cross beam was always used in executions, and that was the prominent way of execution at the time of Christ. But those parts that say that, they just leave out when they quote it by putting three dots there, like to leave out that part. So really what they're saying in that book is the opposite of what the source says. So I'm, okay, I'm just um, kind of shocked by that, that they would say in the broadcast they're against doing that. Because I think, you know, that's only one and they they do it regularly. So I'm just confused yeah. why why they say they're against it. So yeah. if you check into where it says cross in the reasoning book, just Google Imperial Bible Dictionary and you can read the whole thing. It says really just the opposite of what they're trying to show. So um, just I'm surprised by that. Yeah, um, I, I would have to research uh -huh. it honestly because yeah. I'm, I'm not familiar okay. so much with, okay. with that. And, of course, I would like to look at the Imperial Dictionary. Yeah, myself. yeah. then you can um, read the parts that they left out to, to, to try to say just the opposite of what it's saying. It's pretty pretty startling. Yeah. Um, may I ask uh, what your name is? Christine. Or, um, Christine. Christine. Yeah. And where are you? I don't have any paper here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I don't live around there. I just wanted to talk okay. to a witness about it, see what they what they thought about it, because it seems so um, yeah. odd that he was talking about that. <laughs> like they know you shouldn't do that, and you know, this is you know, really I, shocking. Yeah, there's some other friends here that have mm -hmm. more experience than I do. Um, if you just give me a second, let me see if I can. Um, talk with one of them and see if they're more familiar with it. Oh, yeah, why they say why they misquoted on the cross in the reasoning book. Yeah, if anybody yeah, knows yeah, about yeah. that. I don't know yeah. that there could be any explanation. I read it myself in the Imperial Bible Dictionary, so I don't know what the, you know, excuse could be for that. Right. Um, hmm, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe the best thing I would suggest then uh -huh. is if you would contact a witness like a kingdom hall near you, like mm -hmm. in your in your area, mm -hmm. and have a local um, sister come and um, maybe help you with that. That would be my suggestion. Wow, I wonder how they could help a situation like that. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, maybe I'll try it, and maybe you could yeah, mention it to other people, and and um, you know, just spread the word, and maybe you'll get a good answer. Maybe they can all check into it. Yeah. Um, Are you allowed to I, talk about stuff like that? Oh, of course. I'm oh, sure, good. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for it, and there's a lot of you know misunderstandings like that. Um, oh no, I I read it myself. I mean, I have a 
above average reading ability, so I, I couldn't yeah, even imagine what the yeah. explanation would be. I actually know, know someone who left the organization when they saw this one this one quote because it's so yeah. over the top, um, you know. But anyway, um, thanks for thanks for your help. Yeah. Okay. I, like I said, I would. I'm not quite sure with. I'm not familiar with it, and I would have to research it. But that's why I'm suggesting maybe go to someone in your area. Okay. And, okay. And have them actually. You know, that way you can sit down with them and you could show them what you see. Yeah, I would love to show some more people too. It. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I hope you check it out, and uh, thanks for talking. So I, I appreciate you um, contacting one of us. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. God bless. Okay. Yes. Take care. Hi. Um, I just have a question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Okay. Uh, do you have a minute? Uh, just about a minute. Okay. What's your question? Well, you know that um, I- I've read in the publications, I've looked at some on JW.org, um, it says, like, examine the origins of everything. Uh-huh. You know, like holidays and Christendom sure. and all that. Yep. So I was, like, looking at I, – I was getting really interested in the history of the organization. And, um, okay. well, I found this one thing in an older watchtower, because I am looking at the origin of it. Um, it, it said that um, that the um, um, the founder of the religion, Russell, um, said – he never claimed to be the faithful and discreet slave. Mm-hmm. But then there's a watchtower older um, in 1916 where it says that he he um, said that to people. And, and he admitted it. Is? It says he admitted being the faithful and discreet slave okay. in, in conversations. We, it's in the watchtower. So... I'm trying to figure out, like, which one is true. Well, I would go to the latest Watchtower. Our understanding is that the Faithful and Discreet Slave was uh, not, didn't even exist until 1919. So he couldn't have been the Faithful and Discreet Slave, although he was one of the anointed, likely. Oh, right. It's not about the changing, which I know they've changed several times. Now it's just the governing body. Um, but what, what I'm asking is, why did they lie and say that he never claimed to be? Well, that was the understanding at the time, you know. Uh, What? uh, You know, I don't know what you're looking at. I can give you you the reference if you want. It's like this this one where it says in the Watchtower he did claim to be the faithful and discreet slave in conversations he had with people. Um, I'm not making that up. It's in 12. No, no, no. I I understand that. Okay. And then in this later one, it says he never claimed that. So they're... Trying to say something different about their own history. That, that's what I'm well, asking. You know, it's just reporting history as it occurred. It would be no. It says he by. never. He said never did claim to be such. And it says in their own magazine he did claim that. Well, uh, all I can tell you is our understanding today is that he was not uh, uh, the faithful. Yeah, slave. I'm not. I'm not he asking not about that. I'm asking why they misrepresent the history. Do they well, do that like said, uh, regularly, or is that? Well, uh, have you ever read American history and found out there are conflicting uh, comments like that in American history? Sure. Well, I, I think the history you know, book, American history book, doesn't claim to be God's only channel on earth of truth. So uh-huh. we have to examine the integrity because that's an incredible claim. Well, what had you rather do? Had you rather base your beliefs on uh, on the Bible as to what we know the Bible says today, or what folks uh, back then may have understood it to to mean, but didn't have the full understanding? Again, it's you know, not you keep you keep changing the subject. It's about the history, is what I'm looking yeah. at, and they misrepresent and lie about the history when they said Russell never claimed to be the faithful slave when it's in a watchtower yeah. that he did. Well. Uh, does that does that mean it's true simply because it was in a watch? I remember watch stars are written by people. They're not. Oh, so they lied at that part. time that he they well, said he what, did claim to be. What wouldn't they I know? Can't, I can't answer I mean, your question because <laughs> they're the ones the, writing it. it. It's no, no. The people who wrote it were the ones writing it back then. The people who are writing it today, we have a clear understanding, and we know that 
that he was not the faithful Shri Slave. In fact, it's again, not a again, I'm not asking you about that. I'm asking why they're lying about the history. So you can keep rephrasing it all you want because you don't well, like I'm to sorry, hear Well, I'm sorry, but I have to go. This is not a productive conversation. It could be really productive if you no. see that they lie about the history because then you'll start to see that they do that in other on other topics as well. This is. Uh, I thought that's where you were going. I'm not interested in continuing the conversation. Okay, it's in 12 one. Hello? The Kingdom Hi, um, I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Christine, what's your name? Um, you've called the Kingdom Hall. <laughs> well, cool. I don't mind. <laughs> you guys like talking about the Bible, don't you? It's just a scripture. Um, we call and talk to other people about the Bible. That's what we do. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Can I share a scripture with you? We could talk about it. I uh, don't think so. I think you must be calling the Kingdom Hall for a, a reason. Really? So, like uh, what? I have no idea. What is your reason for calling? The to, sh- to share scripture. Um, that's a little odd. Really? Why? Who, who, are you affiliate, who are you affiliated with? I'm just here by myself right now. I fellowship with other what? Christians, but we don't talk about our ourselves or our group or anything like that. I'm just sharing a scripture. Well, try calling somebody else. Can I just share the scripture with you and then you can hang up? No, thank you. (laughs) No? (laughs) Okay, God bless you. Uh, yeah, I just have a Bible question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Okay. Uh, do you have a minute? Yes. Okay. Um, well, um, I was reading some verses um, in the Gospel of John. Um, uh-huh. Like, this is just one example. Um, is where Jesus said in John 5.24, um, uh-huh. Verily I say to you, he that hears my word and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come yes. into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Okay. And then um, another one says, um, he says in John 11, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Do you believe this? Um and then there's another one, there's a lot of them in the Gospel of John that says, you have eternal life if you trust in him and believe in him. Um, so, um, you know, in light of those kind of verses, um, I was just wondering, um, do you guys believe that um, you're the only true Christians on earth? Well, we're the one who are doing what the Jesus command us to do in Matthew 28, 19 to 20. And also, I know most of the people worship Jesus as a God. Yes. But you must read John chapter 14, verse 28. Jesus says, you heard I'm going my way to Father because Father is greater than I. Uh And then he also says, Matthew 16, 16, is he is a son of God. He told that to right. Peter. Right. Right? Yeah, all Christians so, believe that. But the thing is, um, as far as him being called son of God, you can see what the Jews thought about that. 
they said yes. that he was making himself equal with God by calling God his own father. He doesn't mean a son of God like an angel. Hebrews 1 says that Jesus is not an angel. The son is not an angel. Because it keeps saying in Hebrews chapter 1, to which of the angels did he ever say such and such? Um, okay. So you guys so do believe you're the only Christians, you're the only real Christians on, on earth, right? What did Jesus say? No, no, no. He I mean, I'm just, oh, just a minute. They just... are not, if they are not against us, they are with us. So anybody who believes in Jesus, do what he commands us to do, as we are Matthew 28, 19 to 20. Go, therefore, make a disciple of the older people and teaching them to what I have. Yeah, yeah. You right? know, all, all Christians have done uh, missionary right. endeavors like for, you, for many you are centuries. To me. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? You know what? The yeah. organization will not say that they will say I'm a false Christian. You know why? Because they say that here, this is well, from the Watchtower, you... survival okay. of individuals today depends on their faith and loyal association with the earthly part of Jehovah's organization okay so you're not teach you're not telling me their point of view how long have you been a witness over 20 years okay ma'am. yeah i don't know why I don't you're, you're in a weakness yeah i don't know why you're saying that to me then because you're supposed to be upholding their teachings right Yes. Yeah. So you're you're That's you're, you're coming being from a Bible. I'm yeah. giving you the scripture. Right. But I'm giving you what they teach. It means uh, they call themselves the Ark of Salvation that you must enter for survival. We need to obey the faithful and discreet slave to have Jehovah's oh. approval. Okay. It says uh, in the Watchtower. Uh, that's, everybody, uh, that's just eight me. men. Uh, that's just can, eight men. Can we talk later? You sure. can call later. We're going to have a morning meeting right now. Oh, sure. But if... Okay. If, to have a good one. <laughs> okay. 